Okay, folks, we're looking at plants. Right, marijuana plants. So, I guess that makes the world a difference right there. Only it doesn't. That's just the view of ignorant folks. So, this is about helping to enlighten people, hopefully. So, here we go. Right over. Entelechy, beginning and end, plants, this, excuse me, so, following up on some stories, this one is in response to a statement that was made by a priest, Mitch Pacwa, P-A-C-W-A, S-J, Jesuit, coming out of EWTN, that's the Catholic Broadcasting Network. Statement, sex, drugs, and rock and roll since the 60s have resulted in increases in mass murders like Aurora, dramatic increase. So not that particularly did it with Aurora, but more than likely, and if not that, then still responsible for the increase. That statement is idiotic. Coming out of a scholar in so many areas and totally ignorant in the areas of sex, drugs, rock and roll. Maybe it's a problem with the male hierarchy and with male authority. Okay, Pope was in Mexico, just to recap, and he was talking about exposing the lies and deceit, the violence and the evil behind drugs. And then goes on to making it a personal choice. That's the problem. right Oh, Homeboy Pacwa and uh, Mitch, you know, same thing with all the authorities. They believe the same crap. And I guess... Uh, African Americans made poor choices when uh, they were forced into slavery and the same with Native Americans when they were kicked off their land. They were poor choices, right? Poor people. Hey, there you go. They're poor because they make poor choices. Now, talk about being naive and simplistic at best. So, here's a short story, allegory, and then a poem to help with enlightenment coming from a bard all right and these are works of art so now if you folks want to persecute or continue to persecute people who are being creative and artists and say well who cares about them you know the typical arrogant the superciliousness the arrogant ignorance here you know we're doing all the work blah, 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 blah. yeah right and you got the imagination of cloth hoppers to quote our buddy James Joyce using the word cloth proper. So enough on that for that mentality right there, but that does apply with the um, situation with Mitch Pacwa, the, all the authorities, secular and religious from everywhere and the people themselves. So here's a story on that kind of ignorance. Pat and Mike off the boat, okay? Irish American story now. Going back some days when the Irish were coming over as immigrants and waves, fleeing poverty and all of that. Some people say they had a choice. All right, because those folks never walked in their shoes. And Pat and Mike got their first job, pick and shovel. And they're digging a drain and across from them on the other side of the square is a big old house. And by this time now, you know, after a couple of weeks they found out through the grapevine that this is a house of prostitution ill repute as the saying goes right back in that lay in that language so anyway Pat and Mike were making great old progress with their work and there was one day there when they saw a man of the cloth going into the house and it was a Protestant minister they knew enough by this time to know that's who he was well Pat and Mike looked at each other down with the pick and shovel, 
pet, said to Mike, by God, Mike, says he, isn't that a shame to see a man of the cloth going in there like that, bringing shame in his own people? Tis, tis pet, said Mike. Talk some more, bless themselves, back to work. You know, wouldn't you know it now, a couple of hours later on the very same day after this time now, didn't they see another man of the cloth going in there? This time, it was a Jewish rabbi. Well, Pat and Mike looked at each other again, blessed themselves and said, my God, the shame that man is bringing on his people and the cloth. What's wrong with people at all in this country? Anyway, back to work and wouldn't you know, it's just only half an hour later, all in the same day now, doesn't this priest come along and this priest goes in there? Well, Pat and Mike stopped, looked at each other, and Pat looked at Mike and said, By God, Mike, says he, but there must be somebody awful sick in there. So there you go, folks. It's a good folk tale, only as an allegory it applies to all groups because it's a story about tribal ignorance. That is what the Pope, that is what Mitch Pacwa, that is what the majority of the priests, the clergy, the secular authorities and the people themselves have on the subject of drugs. Okay, here's the problem, and there's a good story, David Nutt, okay, N-U-T-T, -T, English professor, he was on the uh, advisory uh, member council, I think it was called, on the misuse of drugs. This guy is a scientist, okay? Now, some members of the government reacted to political pressure from newspapers. You can track the story down through David Nutt. And he, they, they came along, the, this, you know, the, these folks who uh, wanted a change in the marijuana laws said, you know, not harsh enough. People were getting some change, then you had the reaction from the newspaper uh, magnate, and uh, so part of the government being fickle under uh, Gordon Brown, uh, went along, didn't want to be in this favor with somebody who had so much power in the media, and David Nutt was fired because he dared challenge the assumptions, the false assumptions of the government officials, okay, when he said that here is scientific evidence that alcohol and tobacco are much more dangerous than marijuana, LSD, ecstasy, and here's evidence like Galileo, look through the telescope, okay? Observe, make your notes. But no, these people won't look. In the conversation David Nutt had, I saw on a different program, we put links up, and the one I just said about uh, that story with David Nutt will be up on Twitter, Bart, at, at Bard Bart, okay? On Twitter, you can check out the tweets. And so, anyway, this guy, David Nutt, in a conversation with a British government official under Gordon Brown now, the Labour government, the government official said to him, you can't say an illegal drug is less harmful than a legal one. See, that's the mindset. That's the clodhopper mentality. That is the kind of ignorance that Socrates was talking about in his allegory of the cave. People chained to the walls of their own ignorance. They won't heal the truth. You know, and that's how people are being oppressed. Okay, this guy, Mitch Pacwa, what about the slow deaths because of the value system of business needs cheap labor and then the rationalization because it has to compete in foreign markets? Oh, wow, well, that justifies uh, wage slavery back here, doesn't it? I mean, we have to have those business people being able to make as much profit as they can, never mind the living wage. If you don't have a living wage, you can't take care of your family. ABCs, okay? If you can't take care of your family, that means they're sick. So, and sorry, you got hunger. You got all kind of misery going on. This drug war, people have a right to self-medication. Check out, check out bardbart.com. Got all kinds of information, videos, experience. You've seen the plants yourselves. So, I'm gonna kick a poem, and then I'll finish with a smoke, and it'll be it. that'll be it for this one. Motivation. Doing things for the love of Christ. 
desire of Allah, profound. Be the way of Buddha, ma ness Okay? Buddha, ma ness Buddha, bud, da, playing with that, and ma. So the male-female principle, reconciliation, right there. So there's a poem, there's a story. All right? And speaking of that, the old male trinity, males begetting, males don't cut it, and then the homosexual trinity condemning homosexuality among members, okay? Sorry, folks, somebody took a wrong turn back there in Greece. You know, so all of this male authority, male hierarchy, and that women, somehow, they are as spiritual as men, but yet they can't be priests, and they don't, you know, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Second class status, they ain't divine. Ain't divinely ordained. And uh, we gotta get back to uh, basics, okay? Male and female equal. The Trinity, it's a male and female. The Holy Spirit is female. All right? Just balance. Some poultry. This is the evil that people are killing and dying for because it's illegal. It could be planted in people's backyards, grown inside by people in the cities. Ain't that something? All right. Show you a shot again. I'm gonna do a little weeding and pruning right now. My first tape, I made a mistake with that. Uh, weeding in my mind. So that's how we're gonna close out Bard Bart here, folks. And be on Twitter at Bard Bart and BardBart.com where we're kicking it because of the harm being done with the legalism, the Jim Crow plantation mentality, the criminal Jim Crow mentation, plantation mentality, and that is where these Jim Crow drug laws come from. They are, in effect, Jim Crow drug laws. Let's end them for a healthy America. Take the crime out of drugs. While we're at it, let's have a living wage. Okay, that'll be enlightened capitalism, as opposed to the golden calf capitalism we have and bring him home. Dismantle the military-industrial complex empire and rebuild our constitutional democratic republic. We can start with OWS there now. Those folks, they're starting in the circle, going back to basics. Basic democracy, looking out for the needs of the people and the tribe, those most in need. Comfortable church, comfortable members, all right, and while we're at it, Mitch Packwell, let go of that Latin. That's elitism, okay? You're here to serve the people, here to serve the church, and here to serve you and what you like. Ego, pride, spiritual pride, isn't that the problem behind this drugs and this false authority? Hmm? Ignorant as hell on the subject, yet going around proclaiming to be speaking the truth on it. Contrary to the evidence, remember Galileo? That's the recurring phenomenon, ain't it? Okay, and what goes with pride, slaught? Now, nah, I couldn't be wrong, so I don't have to do any work. Okay, here we go. Take it out. I I can see from this angle. Yeah. See there, plants. Right. Photosynthesis. So, and all this is supposed to be illegal. Look at that. All right, folks, a little pruning, a little weeding. See, I'm doing a little gardening, and that's where 
people who call themselves social conservative. What are you conserving? Evil? Because that's what you're doing. And you're against big government, but you love the drug laws. And you're against government invasion of privacy, and you drug love the drug laws. Hello. You're part of the problem, too, with your ignorance. All right, folks. If you don't get it from here, forget about it. Later, all by the grace.